Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel So, I know it's been a while, I haven't done a podcast on something uh, You guys have been extremely busy with school and you guys, it's been a lot I really need to get back to uploading, but now I'm back So, on today's video, we're gonna talk about a viral situation, okay? And generally, I don't like covering viral stories unless I have really something to say. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, then keep on watching. So what basically happened is that a video went viral on Twitter, okay? Like, allegedly has over 11 million views. So a video went viral on Twitter where you could basically see a race going on, okay? And there's a reporter, a female reporter, that's like reporting on the race, whatever. So basically, while she was reporting on the race, a jackass decided to smack her ass, okay? Like like that so the reporter obviously you know you could see her reaction but you know since she's like a journalist and she's like a reporter on the scene she cannot do much about it so let me show y'all this video So y'all saw that clip and honestly, uh, I'll get into it after. So after that video went blocky viral, uh, the reporter replied to it on a tweet. So her name is Alex Bosarjian and she co-tweeted uh, the tweet that went viral saying, to the man who smacked my butt on live TV this morning, you violated, objectified and embarrassed me. No woman should ever have to put up with this at work or anywhere. Do better. So basically, she was not here for it. But at the end of the day, when you're a woman and basically when you're a reporter, you cannot do much about these situations. Like, you got to stay shut up. And it's pretty annoying that she has to deal with that. It's sort of disgusting, especially humiliating. The fact that they will do that on national television. So y'all know what happens when something goes viral. I swear to God, y'all. Like, I didn't think this guy would have come up with a statement. But listen, before going there, you know what happens when something goes viral. I don't know what's going on with Twitter, y'all. I swear to God, Twitter people can find people way better than the FBI, the CIA, the police. Y'all starting digging and digging. And not, in not much time, they found him. From a blurry-ass video, y'all found this man. And I was not going to use his name on this video. But since the media, like, decided to pick up his name. And he came with statements and yada, yada, yada. I'm going to use his name. So, after y'all dragged him. And y'all were digging and digging. And y'all found him. Uh, they identified the man as Tommy Calloway. And he is a jude minister and he's also a boy scout leader so i have no idea what a jude minister is y'all but i think some christian thing so he has like a position in his church he's a boy scout leader and people are outraged that this kind of person is influencing children in a way which it shouldn't be totally acceptable if you sexually harass somebody in public you might not be you should not be able to be around children uh, children at all it's a dangerous situation so y'all still dragging and dragging and First of all, before her first statement came from his lawyer. And this guy said, through his lawyer, let me read this for you guys. While we regret the situation, Mr. Calloway did not act with any criminal intentions. Tommy is a loving husband and father who is very active in his community. We have been in touch with WSAV and representatives for Miss Alex Bosarjian, as well as members of Savannah Law Enforcement. We do not expect any criminal charges to arise from this incident, and we are working with those involved to correct the situation. 
I swear to God, like, y'all ain't shit. Y'all gonna be sexually harassing people. I'm I'm happy we're living in this techno- technology age that we have proof of these incidents that do happen every day. And, okay, at first I was not gonna do a video about this. I was like, okay, okay, but he came in an interview y'all gonna let these white men clean their images even though they're sexual predators i swear to god just watch this clip the runner accused of slapping a reporter on her behind on live tv is speaking out today i was caught up in the moment i spoke to tommy calloway in his first interview since video of his behavior went viral take me back to that moment what were you thinking? I was getting ready to, to bring my hands up and wave to wave to the camera um, and to the audience. And uh, there was a misjudge in character and decision making. Um, I touched her back. I did not know exactly where I touched her. I, the reporter, Alex Bazargian, was covering a run for her station in Savannah, Georgia. Exciting. <laughs> I think what it really comes down to is that he helped himself to a part of my body. Appearing on CBS this morning, she said she hasn't decided if she's willing to accept the runner's apology. He took my power and I'm trying to take that back. Um, mm -hmm. And um, whether I am open to it or not, um, I want to take my time with that. 43-year-old Tommy Calloway is a married father of two. He's a teen church youth minister and a Boy Scout leader. I read him the reporter's outraged social media post. Alex said, quote, to the man who smacked my butt on live TV, you violated, objectified, and embarrassed me. No woman should ever have to put up with this at work or anywhere. Do better. Your reaction? I totally agree 100% with her statement. And the two most important words were her last two words, do better. And that's, that's my intentions. He separates himself from the runners and he kind of winds up and he hit me hard. I did not see her facial reaction um, as I just kept on running. And if I did see her facial reaction, I would have been embarrassed. I'd have been felt ashamed and I would have stopped, turned around and went back and apologized to her. I'm not going to really debate that because he hurt me. So here's the reason why I'm making this video. I don't want to bring up race, even though my channel is a lot of focus on race issues. But I don't think it's fair how the media is allowing this man to clean up his image. I think it's nasty. I think it's disgusting. And the issue is like, I don't think it's fair. We know the victim. In my opinion, she's deciding whether or not she will accept the apology. Go and sue his ass. Charge him for sexual assault. Nobody should touch you there. That's totally inappropriate. Report him to the police. Like, I'm tired. I'm sorry. There's a lot of people that are going through charges of sexual assault and they don't get a second chance. And this man is able to clean up his image. That's totally disgusting. I'm sorry. So that's one of the reasons why I don't want to bring this up to light. I think the situation is crazy. And the fact that this guy is coming here saying like the most important part is do better. Like she didn't talk about she been objectified, blah, 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 blah. Like shut up. And he also said if I would have seen her face, I would have apologized. Like I don't care if you don't see her face. You don't touch anybody. Period. Like I'm tired of this shit. Like I'm tired of this point. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. This was a quick video. I just want to give my two cents on the situation, y'all. Uh, what kind of videos y'all want to hear? Listen, I've been extremely busy, but I'm back at it again. So let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. And if y'all want to know about me, just subscribe, okay? And see ya. Bye.